Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My husband and I and Izzy are just about to leave the house. We're going shopping in reverse. Shopping in, in reverse is something that we do a lot. And what I mean by that is we're going actually to return something, not to buy it. And what I'm returning is something where we return all the time. And it is Izzy's dog food. Now this video is not about Izzy's dog food, but I'm just telling you what we were going to do, but I wanted to make this little video first. Izzy is the worst eater in the world, the worst dog eater I have ever seen. And I have been having to feed her in my hand. What I do is I put some food in her mouth a few times so she gets the taste of it, and then she'll start licking it out of my hand. And I have been doing this for a couple of years because she just will not eat she will not put her face in the dish at all. And finally, I found a, a food, a combination of food that she likes. So I'm bringing everything back. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Three cases of dog food. And this isn't junky dog food. This is almost human grade dog food and it has pieces of steak in it, and it has vegetables cut up. It looks delicious. It almost looks like something my grandmother used to make. So we have to bring that back, because I found, uh, I'm sorry to bore you with dog food, but I just need to tell you, in case you have a fussy dog, I bought this the other day, and she used to eat this when I, all my dogs were alive. This is like a, a kibble, a dry kibble. I give her some of this, and that's by Akana, and this is the lamb and apple recipe. And I give her some of this. The, all this is new. This is the can of that version. So she has a can of it, and she has it in dry food. And I give her this, is what she's been having for a long time. This is Stella and Chewy, and it is freeze-dried raw. And it comes in patties, it looks like discs, small discs. And she loves it. She eats the bite, she keeps a bite in her mouth until it softens. I think her teeth might have something to do with it. And she's been having this for a year, but she doesn't eat enough of it to sustain her. This is only almost like a treat to her, but it's actually 100% dog food. So that's what we're going to do today. But before I do that, I, I want to also show you the, my bag of the day, what I'm going to be carrying. This is my Dempsey carryall in the Basque, Basque weight. Now somebody, one of my viewers wrote out the pronunciation, but for a camera, I do not remember it. <laughs> I might remember it when I'm not in front of a camera. But this is my bag of the day. I've come to love this bag. I carry it a lot. And I think what I really love is the style, the uh, <coughs> carryall. The carry -all. I'm not, I really don't have many carry -alls, and I really love it. It's just like a mini or a, a smaller tote. And this is what's inside. I, I absolutely love this. This is the zip card case by Coach. It is so awesome. This is my second one. My first one I gave to my daughter when she was here, and then I missed it. And I try to get the exact color I gave her, but they didn't have it anymore. This is flax. And this is, look at this. This is like a wristlet, but it's small enough so it doesn't fall off your hand. She's a runner. My daughter runs, actually, marathons. And um, you could keep this on without worrying about it falling off. And it has the, uh, these compartments, for these slats for credit cards. It has a slot here for a, um, an ID or, or, or more credit cards. And it has a center. First of all, the zipper It's better than a lot of the luxury bags I have. And it, this comes from the outlet. And in here I have all my important cards and some extra credit cards that I want to have with me. It's just great. I love it. It's great for small bags, great for anything. I, I enjoy carrying it. And it kind of goes with this bag. So that's what I'm carrying today. So let me show you what I just bought. 
and I am very surprised to get this bag because I wasn't looking for it. However, there, I have a friend on Facebook and she sold me her bag and it, she showed me pictures of it and it was in such great condition. I couldn't say no because it's a vintage bag and I'm adding vintage bags to my collection. And here it is. It is the Coach Vintage uh, Court Bag. It is glove tan leather. And this is made in uh, 2001, which makes it 21 years old. 20 years old and over in fashion is considered vintage. So this is a vintage bag. And it has a turn lock. And it's so soft. Yesterday, I got this delivered yesterday. I was actually going to do an unboxing, but it didn't come until seven o'clock at night because it was out for delivery six in the morning, but then it went back to the post office. So I called the post office and they said, that the supervisor decided to take all of the parcels and give it to one person. And I was so upset because the next day, if, yesterday was Friday, so I wouldn't be able to reach them on Saturday because nobody answers the phone there. And so I wouldn't know where my bag was till Monday if it didn't show up. But it came, she brought it right to the door, and which is a big surprise because my mailbox is a half a mile away from my door. And so I never know if I have mail or not. And she brought it up to the door and I'm was really excited that I got it yesterday, but it was too late to do the unboxing. So I'm showing it to you now as I'm about to walk out the door to get more dog food and return that, those dog foods. And I am so happy about this. I love it. It is so, it's super soft, so soft. It's immaculate. This is the front. There's a, hang, there's a hang tag here. And this is a vintage hang tag too, by the way. It's all vintage. It's double-sided. The other side. The back. The bottom. Corners. It has a top handle. And this is, as I said, this is the coach um, court bag inside. This has a, is a turn lock. Some air paper. This flap is leather. But inside, it is not lined. This inside is the back of the hide, which is suede. And the color of this is black. It has the thingy that moves the zipper back and forth. This pocket over here is deep. That has the zipper. The zipper pocket is deep. It's the entire my entire hand, which is six inches. In the front over here, it says still, this is under the flap, so it's still considered, I consider it in something inside the bag. It's a huge slip pocket that goes all the way down. So it goes past my hand down to my wrist as far as length depth rather. So that's the inside. On the outside in the back is a deep slip pocket. Also down to my wrist. It's the, from here down to the end of the bag. And I will give you the dimensions in a minute. It's a very simple bag. It's very lightweight. This is one pound, six ounces. The strap is a 45-inch uh, strap, and it's um, it's a crossbody or a shoulder. I don't wear long straps on my shoulder 
First of all, everything slips off. And second of all, my shoulders can't bear any weight. And I cannot wear a bag as a shoulder. It would have to be a crossbody. And this is a crossbody for me. Not only is it a crossbody, my husband had to add four other holes to make it the length I wanted to. So it's a really nice length strap, but not too long, but it's just long enough, really. See, he, those are the holes he made. It has only one of these strap holders and doesn't have one for the bottom of this, but it doesn't curl up because this leather is, I think, because this leather is so soft that it just goes down. It doesn't have the body to make it flip like some of the other uh, straps that I've, I've had in the past. Let me tell you all the dimensions and then I'll show you how it looks on me. I, I love it, I'm so happy with it, it's so soft. There's just no words to describe it, it's like a marshmallow. <clears throat> First, let me tell you this number is, uh, style number 9870, and it was made in Costa Rica in uh, 2001. The length is nine and a quarter inches, that way, and the height is four and seven and a half inches this way. The depth is three and three quarters at the bottom, I'll do this side three and three quarters at the bottom and two inches on top. Uh, it, and I said it weighs one pound, six ounces. That's, uh, that's, that's nothing. Uh, the strap is 45 inches. Uh, it has brass hardware. This is, this is not easy to push down, which is a good thing because yesterday I was out and I, it was pouring rain and I ran across the street and then someone's yelling at me that my bag fell. The bag fell, I was wearing a different, uh, it wasn't a vintage bag, it was a bag from the outlet, a, a coach outlet, and it had this, this kind of a closure, but it was very loose. And as I was running across the street in the rain, it, it and disengaged and some, uh, I didn't even know because I had on a heavy coat and a stranger told me that my bag fell and it fell four times yesterday. That's, that's not good. Uh, my husband has to figure out how to tighten this because you, I just can't send the bag every time this happens into the, to be repaired and I don't see it for months. That's not, definitely not gonna work for me. And he feels that it's just a matter of tightening and when he figures that out, if there's a trick to it, I will definitely come back and tell you about it and yeah so I, I do love this bag let me show you how it looks and I just can't wait to use it this is a usable bag for me this is not going to sit in the closet with price tags on it like I have so many bags that are sitting in the closet and I really need to either start using them or sell them and that's what I'm going to do let's see how this one looks I am thrilled with it so lightweight. I've put my things inside it. I don't have my things inside it now, but it holds my wallet. I have several wallets that are good in here. Uh, it holds my phone, and I have the iPhone uh, 6S Plus. Plenty of room for that. It holds my keys, and I need to find a small brush because now that my, my hair isn't being crunched, scrunched, I need to carry a brush instead of a pick, and I still haven't been able to find one that I like because I'm particular about the bristles, among other things. And uh, yeah, it holds just what I need. Not, not a, an overabundance, it's not, never gonna be heavy. It's never gonna, it's not gonna need feet because it's not gonna ever be touching the ground. And I, I just love it. I'm very, very happy to get it. I'm very happy with my collection of 
um, vintage coach so far. Uh, I have a big interest in learning about how to authenticate and how to refurbish, and I definitely want to do that. I have, now that new things are out in coach, I know that this, I'm going to have to buy new bags also. I'm going to want to buy new bags, not have to, but I'm probably, I, I foresee myself having more vintage than, uh, than new bags. And when the new bags come out, and I really have to have it, if I love it so much, I'll buy it. Otherwise, I'm sticking to these babies because they're fun to find. They're fun to make your own. They're, the leather is, the leather speaks for itself. And the people I've met in the groups that I've uh, joined are awesome and so willing to help, and they're wonderful people. And it's just, a gr it's a new great adventure for me, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and I'm very lucky to get this. Thank you so much, Miri, for selling this to me. And Mary also sold one of my bags that I showed you in my last video to me. She uh, sold me the Legacy 9966, and that, that's also a crossbody, and it was in mahogany, and I love that, and I'm really, really happy with what I got. So thank you, everybody. I'm going to go to the dog food store now, and when they see me walking in with three cases, uh, they probably won't ever let me shop there again. But I'll have my husband with me. He'll <laughs> he'll diffuse it for me a little bit, I hope. But they're really good about returns because as long as it's not open, and even if it was open like the bag of kibble, if you open it and the dog doesn't like it, they just donate it to the dog shelters. They're very, very good about that. And none of these cans are obviously open. So, well, thank you for watching. I am so grateful for your friendship and your loyalty. Uh, if I had gotten this bag and I wasn't on YouTube, or if I had left YouTube and I would gotten a bag, I would never enjoy it like I enjoy it sharing it with you. It's just something would be missing. Yeah, it really would. You're, you guys are a part of my life. I love you guys. Take good care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.